Hello YouTube world, it's Mara and welcome back to my channel that serves literally no purpose besides bringing you guys some mediocre entertainment and me joy. So today I'm going to be trying out some press on nails and I think within the past, definitely in the past year, I have seen so much hype around press on nails and I remember when I was like 8 years old, I would go to the 99 cent store and buy press on nails like every weekend every time my parents gave me money i'd be like can you take me to the 99 cent store so i can get press on nails because i wasn't allowed to get acrylic nails at that point obviously i was a kid but all i can remember is that they would fall off so fast like i would glue them on and within the end of the day i was missing like one whole hand <laughs> okay and i get it i'd like to think it was because i was a kid i'd play outside i was doing all this all these crazy shenanigans so they were bound to just flake off like I get it they're not like the most durable thing in the world but I would like to think that technology has improved since then so we're gonna try them out and I thought what better time to try them out than when I'm going on a slight vacation I'm going to Mexico for Day of the Dead and we're going to go fix up my grandparents and great-grandparents graves you know very mexican tradition which i love and it's gonna be so much fun so i thought what a better time than to try them out then so this is the packet i got from no one other than kiss and i did buy a separate glue because i wasn't 100 percent sure that it was going to come with glue so i just want to be safe but it did come with glue and it also came with a nail file and cuticle pusher that i did use before putting the nails on and this is what we're working with before we put the press ons on very natural very cute giving healthy <laughs> Okay guys, so the last time I talked to you, we were in the car and I was putting on the press-ons and this is what they ended up looking like. Um, let me show you the other hand. Don't get me wrong, from far away, they look fairly good. But I'm going to show you up close. And mind you, I did this in the car, it was dark, so the sizing is a little bit off on my end. I will definitely think, say that was my mistake. So like on this one, you can see, yeah, I totally got that wrong. Um, the pinky one, obviously, looks good on this side. This side, not so much. Um, same thing on this hand, like this one looks pretty bad. Um, this one, like not horrible. My ring finger looks not great. The part I do think is my bad completely absolutely my fault um i just also think it's like the way i placed it i was just trying to kind of get them on if you know what i'm saying um but uh so far they have like not fallen off and that's per for me pretty crazy because what i can remember from a childhood they literally popped off like the same day and i would just re-glue it on like after I found the nail and luckily if it didn't like crack in half so that's kind of amazing to me but I did end up using the other glue I bought not the one that it came in the pack but yeah so I will keep you guys posted on how it's going so far so good so I'm in the hotel bathroom and I just want to update you on the nails they are holding up so strong i cannot believe it like apparently this technology has improved dramatically since i was eight years old <laughs> so i am so impressed they look so cute like obviously far away you know because we all already talked about the discrepancies but from far away they look so cute so i'm kind of loving them we'll see for the rest of the trip so I spoke way too soon because I was popping a pimple right over here and this one popped right off. Like, just boom. Um, depressing to say the least. But I'm like debating whether I should leave it off and just wait to see how long the other ones take to pop off or if I should just glue it back on. I don't know. I'll think about it tonight and then we'll see tomorrow. What I end up doing. Hey okay guys, so we are about ready to leave the hotel because we're going to another part of Durango. And I was closing my suitcase, and you can guess it, this one popped off. 
so sad. I don't know. I had such high hopes for this. I don't know why. I just really thought they would work so well. Ironically, it's been these ones though, just the brown ones, not the ones with designs. But I feel like after you lose two nails, like I just get this inkling to rip them all off. So I don't know. We'll see what I do. I really hope I can stick through it. I don't know if I'm gonna glue them back on. I hadn't even glued this one back on because I was still thinking about it. Now that another one popped off, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know, I'm gonna think about it on the drive over to where we're going. Hey guys, so it is now day three and I didn't lose any other nails, but to be honest, and I didn't glue the other ones back on, I don't know. I was honestly just fighting the urge to not take the other ones off the entire day. But as I was saying, I didn't do anything like crazy intense today. Um, so I can guess that's why none of them fell off. Um, I'm losing hope in all of this because I really thought, like they had me that first day. I really thought they were amazing, that they were so great, that the convenience of them was just awesome but now i'm like i don't know i kind of just feel like ripping them off tomorrow we are going to go paint um the tombs and stuff so it's gonna be more intensive day tomorrow so maybe more of them will fall off tomorrow it's kind of what i'm expecting but i don't know we shall see sorry for all the background noise but it's just my family the last clip was of my nail popping off in the car because I was trying to get in the car as quickly as I possibly could without it like having all the flies get in the car because there's so many flies outside of the car. So I was sit gonna sit in the back and we're in carless cars so it's a two door Jeep. So you understand the seating and I was trying to pull the seat back as closing the door and my middle finger nail popped off. And now my thumb is also gone as you can see. And that is because it was already like coming off in the car and then we get to the hotel, go to the bathroom, take a shit, I'm wiping my ass and it just fucking popped off. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, as I'm wiping my ass, that shit could have flown in my asshole. Like, who knows? But I'm so glad it didn't and I'm also so glad it didn't fall in the toilet because I'd feel really bad that could potentially clog your toilet because that's not supposed to go in there. Um, so I think this is the end of the journey with my nails um, and I think I'm just gonna take the rest of them off because like after you lose three on one hand it you just look ridiculous like hanging on to these two so I definitely think I just need to get take them off we just need to take them off so to say the least I am disappointed like I genuinely thought they were going to be fantastic and that they're going to be the most amazing thing since I was eight years old. I can say I really enjoyed the convenience of it. Like it seems so convenient to just have, buy a little pack of nails and be able to literally press them on and have your nails looking great within the matter of like 20 minutes. That convenience to me is amazing because I'm someone who just does not enjoy going to the nail salon. I like having my nails clean, but I don't like the two hours that you spend at the nail salon. So this idea just seems so fantastic and convenient. But the ones I bought, I think, are definitely like, you're just going to an event and you need your nails to look good for that day or those hours, and then you can pop them off right after. I kind of want to go and try different brands, different glues to see if it was just the brand that I bought that is cheap because I got it at Target. They were cheap. They were like 10 bucks. So I want to try a different brand of nails, different glue, see if that will help them stay on longer, be a little more durable. But yeah, I was deeply saddened that they popped off within day one. But I have hope that there are better ones out there. So I'm just going to keep searching. So that is going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That being said, peace and blessings, and I'll see you guys in the next one.